Yep, here we are. The long awaited through hike, the start of the Cumbrian Way. It's going to be four, maybe five days of hiking along the trail from Ulverstone in South Lakeland up until Carlisle in the north of the county. So I left home about 6 a.m. this morning, um, caught the 6.25 train into London, and then straight up to Alverstone and like clockwork. So bang on, 11.44, the train arrived. I um, uh, found the local Griggs, had a bit of lunch, and it's now time to crack on. So do join me on what will be, I hope, an epic trip, 70 miles. I'm not sure how I'm gonna slice it up yet. But I'm certainly gonna try and get 10 done today just to ease myself in nice and gently before I start kind of cranking up the miles over days two to four. This is my first I suppose proper through hike. I uh, have been training. Um, whether it's enough or not, we'll soon see. I've lost a bit of weight in the process, which is good. But I have been pretty, um, I must admit, pretty fanatical about my preparation. So I've watched pretty much every YouTube video there is on the Cumbrian Way over the last few weeks. So I've got a pretty good idea about what to expect. And I think the biggest tip that I've taken over the last few weeks is just start steady. Don't try and um, be the hare and the tortoise. I'll just be the tortoise. I'm just gonna take the first day pretty steady, get the body used to the miles and carrying the weight and then gradually build it up in day two and day three. Well, I've been to the lakes on a few occasions before, but this will be my first time wild camping and um, really, really looking forward to getting stuck into the dramatic scenery. The weather, uh, it's a bit overcast. It has actually been showing rain for uh, most of the week. Thankfully, that looks like, well, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed I don't want to speak too soon, but hopefully I'll have a bit of a dry run. So this first section is just through rolling hills and a bit of farmland. So I'll bring you back when the um, when the scenery starts to, um, I don't want to say improve because this is wonderful, but you know what I mean. When we kind of see our first glimpses of the mountains of the Lake District. So we've been going for an hour and a half, maybe not quite two hours. And um, I'll spin you around, because I'm um, starting to see Southern Bells of the Lake District it's coming to view there. So a couple of hours in, my Strava says I've done five miles, whereas my OS map says I've done about three. Uh, and my legs feel like they've done about three. So. Um, I'll probably stop for a quick drink and, um, and then crack on. Well, I'm about nine miles in. 
it's been um, a really nice walk so far. It's, um, the sun's trying to peek through, but it's been a little bit muggy, a bit overcast. But there's right, this blue sky on the horizon, which is good. And um, really start, excited to start to see that fells. I'm not that far away from my original thinking about a camp spot, which is um, somewhere between Beacon Tarn and Coniston Water. So we've made a good time, it's only four o'clock. It's probably got four hours of daylight left. I think I'll be walking for four hours, but um, I'll see how we get on. Uh, it'd be nice to make up a bit of ground, but um, I don't want to, like I say, don't want to overdo it on day one. There we are, nearly made it. That is Beacon Tar, my friends. Today's destination. Yep, speaking time in the background. I was going to camp around here, um, but it's only um, just gone five, so I feel like I need to do at least another hour or about an hour. So I'm going to just carry on a bit longer, and um, as soon as I kind of find a decent spot near a water source, I think that's where I'll um, set up home for the night. So I'll um, catch you later. So, done about 15 miles today, which is way more than I really wanted to. So I think it's time to set up camp for the night. So I found the spot on a little hillock on the side of a fell. I'll um, put the name of the fell in the description. Um, I'm not sure what it is, I need to check the map out. But this is my view. Getting bad already. So a bit of cloud cover on the higher peaks. Seems to be drifting this way. So what I don't want is it be rain. I think I'll um, put the tent up and get some tea on. So I'll bring you back when I'm all set up. Well, it's nice to have a bit of blue sky. That's um, a welcome sight. And so is that. All set up, all unpacked. Now I'll probably just change into my um, tent gear, pyjamas, what you can call them, and uh, get some dinner on. So I'm all fed and watered, got my um, pyjamas on, sorry you can see my underwear um, on my shoulder, they're just drying out, it's been a bit of a sweaty one today, it's been very very humid, probably that's too much information but um, anyway I thought I'd kind of show you the route before it gets too dark and um, just give you a bit of a feel of where I've been today. So obviously I came into the station and it was a real kind of short walk to the, um, the official start with the Cumbrian Way, uh, I did stop off at Greg's just to get myself a bit of lunch before I kind of like hit the trail and then it was a pretty kind of steady gentle meandering kind of path pretty well made up in most places but it was across farmers fields 
And then this is where I took my kind of first water stop, just kind of chilled out here. I think when I got to about here, that's when I um, changed my battery in the GoPro. And then a really kind of like a steady kind of climb through here. This is where the kind of, you can see from the contours, it really kind of started to um, to pick up. And all the way down through to Beacon Tarn. And originally that was going to be my place, my kind of site for night one. But in the end, I decided to carry on. There's Beacon Tarn there. I carry along on this footpath. And I am around here on the edge of Coates Hill. No, I'm not. I'm on Beacon Fell, sorry. Kind of there for tonight. So that's my pitch for tonight. So tomorrow, it's a big, um, it's a big day. I've done 15 today. Um, I only plan to do 10 or 11, but 15 it's been. And I think there's that extra little stretch there. So tomorrow it's this kind of long slog along Coniston Water and just continuing to follow Cumbrian Way. And um, I'm hoping to do a 20. 20 miler tomorrow but we'll, um, we'll see how we get on well it's dark already it's um, just gone eight o'clock the um, there was not really any sunset um, too much cloud but um, never mind I have um, had a little doze just about to have a cup of coffee um, big day ahead tomorrow so I want to try and bang out 20 miles tomorrow so I think I'm gonna hit the sack so unless anything exciting happens I'll um, I'll see you in the morning Morning guys, it's um, about five to seven, bit of a lay-in. Last night was okay, sleep-wise. Um, I always find first night in the tent is a bit intermittent. Um, I went to bed pretty early, uh, about nine o'clock. Probably had about four hours all in, on and off I guess. Uh, did have a bit of rain last night, rained about 11, and then again about five. This morning so the outside tent's pretty wet but um, thankfully um, so far no condensation which is a bit of a bonus so I shall give the tent a bit of a shake and get as much off as I can give it a wipe down and um, get it rolled up and packed away so just made a coffee um, gonna tuck into that and then I'll um, start getting on my way packing up and the um, plan this morning is to hike to Coniston, which is just north of Coniston Water, and um, hopefully try and get a bit of breakfast there. So, like I said, just have my coffee and then get, get, get a bit of a move on. So, I'll uh, bring you back when I'm all packed up and um, I'm back on the trail. So, there's my morning view. Not too bad. Um, woke up pretty claggy last night, or this morning, should I say? Just um, that hill cloud was dropping down, so there wasn't really a lot to see. But the thing I'm excited about is that up there. So, a bit of blue sky, it'd be great if we get some today. And um, as I move into the, um, the higher peaks, it'd be great to see some of those kind of stunning views. So, now all packed up. That's where I was last night. Just uh, got to put the bag on, flat grass, and as always, leave no trace.
There it is, if you can see it through the trees. First sight of Coniston Water. So a bit of a hike along the shoreline. I think uh, it's about three miles, something like that, into the um, town of Coniston itself. So the old jetty that you see, you might have seen in so many YouTube videos, it's like that's been recently rebuilt. And a cracking job they've done of it as well. Sunnybank jetty. Does it get any better than this? stop. I was um, really hoping for a full English but I think that did, did the job. A nice bacon and sausage butty, a couple of cups of coffee and a salty caramel tiffin. So we're really starting to kind of hit the more mountainous region now, the Lake District. Um, the target today is about 20 miles, somewhere near Angle Tarn. That's the plan. And just my luck, friends and family have texted me this morning to see I'm getting on. And they always ask, what's the weather? Which I replied, it's dry. And then as soon as I press send, guess what? It starts raining. So waterproofs are on, but it's still quite muggy. So when you're kind of pacing out, it's raining pretty much wet on the inside and the outside and there ain't a lot you can do about it so I just hope um, I get a bit of respite later on I can strip the, um, the waterproof off and then dry off a bit
doing all right. About 12 miles in, second day still, and um, sun has decided to come out, which is a bit of a bonus because that rain was pretty brutal and uh, kind of, look at my t-shirt, kind of wet through. So, glad to get a bit of sunshine to dry out. There it is, that's what it came for. It's used like that. Just kind of does it for me. Awesome. reach the 20 mile mark and um, still going. Last minute with feet to do with a nice massage. It's starting to um, ache a bit. But I suppose that's to be expected. 35 miles in, which, um, not bad going. So um, probably about another hour. Time now is about five plus five. I'm gonna keep going to about six find somewhere throw the tent up so, give me a little pinkies a rest so um I'll catch you in a bit so done it I think it's um about 21 21 and a half miles today so pretty good and um I was gonna camp at Angle Tarn but I've got to climb up that I'm not really feeling it right now especially because in the morning, I've got to climb up that. So I thought, um, well, why not stop right at the bottom? And um, found a nice little pitch just about here. So I'll um, get the tin up shortly. And um, you can just see there, 
another old camper with a stunning view of the valley, Langdale Valley. Absolutely wonderful. So fingers crossed we uh, might even see a bit of blue sky at some point. So I'll get all pitched up and um, I'll bring you back when I'm all set up. happy got my tent pitched I mean um, the dry clothes and I'm just kind of chilling out now so I think I'll um, just um, chill for a few minutes taking the views and um, then get a bit of dinner on So it's been a really nice evening. Um, past the bolognese from something to eat, really hit the spot. It's properly out of energy um, when I got here. Started to um, get the shakes a little bit. So a hot chocolate and the pasta absolutely sorted me out. So just been chilling. Probably seen some quite nice time lapses. So no real sunset to um, to take note of. But again, you know it's pretty breezy. So seen some good cloud formations passing by on the time lapse so it, um, it's now eight o'clock it's a little bit early I'm just gonna chill a little bit more maybe listen to some tunes and uh, have a coffee and then turn in for the night so it's been a brilliant day brilliant brilliant day um, I think when you come to these kind of through hikes these multi-day through hikes you never really know whether you've got it in you you never really know whether you can do back-to-back -back days. So yesterday was a 15, today was 20, and so far so good. So got the usual aches and pains. Uh, feet are a little bit sore, ankles and knees. Um, pretty tired, but I know when I woke up this morning, my, um, my joints and my feet really kind of recovered pretty quickly. So I'm really hoping for the same tomorrow morning. So looking for another big day tomorrow, 20 miles and um, yeah fingers crossed so plenty of rest hopefully I'll get a bit more sleep tonight I think last night was only four hours last night let's try and get eight or nine in and um, again I'll be up bright and early for um, maybe sunrise but if not I'll be up bright and early and I'll be hitting the trail around 8 -ish. so unless anything exciting happens see you in the morning <laughs> 